Okay, so I'm going to show you how to assemble the motion control. You can see inside here already we've got the electronics all wired up. The potentiometer is already fitted into its support. The knob has already been attached. The on and off switch has already been installed. The stepper motor is wired up, but uh, we're not going to put it in quite yet. So you need to have your five 608ZZ bearings. If you take a look here at the supports, you can see I already friction welded these nuts into the support piece here. And if you look here, you can see that it's been friction welded in there as well. Same goes for the stepper motor coupling and this other part here. So just check out the diagram included on Thingiverse to see which part goes where and where you need to friction weld the nuts in. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is actually put this coupler onto the shaft of the stepper motor. You can see on this one, I've cut a notch on this one, but you don't need to cut a notch. This was from a, another project. This is meant to work on your stepper motor shaft, no matter uh, whether it's um, completely cylindrical or if it's got that slot cut into it already. So you push it all the way down, make sure it's all the way down. Uh, there is a nut friction welded into here, and this bolt, you just tighten it up. Be careful because this bolt and the nut and the shaft are all made out of metal, and this coupling is made out of plastic, so if you over-tighten it, the plastic is always going to give. So just make it pretty tight. Test it. When you spin it, you should feel the, the steps of the stepper motor. It shouldn't be smooth. You should be able to feel the steps. That means that the shaft is actually being moved by the coupling now. Okay, that's tight. Put that aside for right now. Check out this support here. We're going to put the bearings in there. Three of them. Doesn't matter which way you put them in. And if you look closely, and when you put these parts out, you're going to notice that there is a little extra space there to put a bead of hot glue or any kind of glue really hot glue I think would be the best you put the bead around the outside after you put the bearings in that means that if you want to take the bearings out you can peel that that hot glue off and then just pop these back out it makes it a lot easier if you want to do modifications or you need to repair it or you need to tune it for whatever reason okay I'm not going to do the hot glue now I'm just gonna show you how to put the whole thing together so you have this support done this is the platform this is going to fit in through this way there's here and here for the bearings and this is wide open for the coupling so we're going to put the bearings in here they're in there again you can put a bead of hot glue around the very edge on both of these to keep it in there okay now we're going to need, these two parts are going to go in here. You just push those in through the center of the bearing all the way down. And on the bottom, oops, well that's why you hot glue the bearings in. And on the bottom, this is where this piece right here also with the nut friction welded in. This is going to attach here, and there's another one that's gonna attach here. And you just drive one of these M3 bolts through the top here into the nut down here. Okay, and you know, definitely glue those <laughs> bearings in because uh, there's a lot of play in there right now. So now you gotta make sure your wires are clear because you're not gonna be able to really see in there when we finally get this all put together and we put the motor in. You got to kind of maneuver the motor in this way and then put the whole thing down all together. Okay, now we have the platform here in place. The next step is going to be to take this, this part and attach it to the motion here. We're going to use these. We're going to put these through the center of the bearings. Just push them all the way down through. You can see that there's a 
the bolt is already through and the head of the bolt is flush with the top of this with the top of this piece so just put it put them in all three and then you'll notice the bolt is sticking out at the bottom here we're going to use our screwdriver to connect the bolt in here these three right here okay now that these are all bolted on here the last part is taking this tray here and lining up these three holes here with these three friction welded knots here just line it up there we're going to put these three bolts in okay so everything is in everything is finished all we have to do is test it out we plug in the 12 volt adapter in the back we flip on the we flip on the switch turn up the potentiometer And it works. Thanks for watching.